Good morning, everyone. This is Anne Marie, and this is um, the short spy report. The extended one is now protected content, as I said it would be, but we are going to take a quick look at spy, see what we're doing on the day. Um, above 160, 160-ish, we should have ourselves an expansion event into this gray area, but we are at the top of this particular pattern. So when we are looking at this, which is a, v a bearish pattern, it is suggesting a rollover. Now I have read a lot about people thinking that the market is going to continue to rise. It probably will, but not right now. And if it does, it will not hold. That's my thought. So what do I normally do though? Hey, listen, I'm going to trade what I see. And if I am wrong, I am going to quickly reevaluate. Hey, listen, if I think the charts are going to roll over and we breach 160, 189, guess what? It's not rolling over. So I'm not going to be stubborn and sit in a short. I'm going to take the long into the next area of resistance. Many of us just sit down in our bias way too long when things are clearly showing us they shouldn't be going in that direction, and we really lose out. And not only do we lose out on good moves, we end up sitting on the wrong side of moves, all right? So trade what you see, not what you think. Now, one of these days, you're going to get really good, and what you think and what you see are going to be the same thing. For me, I am still not there yet. There are a lot of things that I think that I just don't see, and if I don't see it, I am not going to trade it. Most of the things I would say that I, at this stage in, in my technical analysis, that what I think and what I see are usually the same thing. And if I think something before I see it, I'm going to wait until I see it to trade. So in the end, just trade what you see. I know, I could have said that easily in the front. I did. Guess what? Most of us don't. So I have to blither on to remind you to trade what you see and not what you think. If you'd like to see it in a quicker time frame, then go to a 30-minute chart. See if you can see it earlier. In any case, here up above this region, probably an aggressive long, 160, 160, puts us up into 162 and a quarter or so, and then 162, 63. If you want to be very aggressive, you can take it off the pop of this region right here, which is 160, 126. If it begins to pop there, you can take it. Just realize you might have some sellers waiting on you up there at that 63 level, 160, 163. If it loses this region, probably better to wait until it clears this candlestick if you want to be conservative. If you want to be aggressive, you can certainly take the short as it fails the level, this uh, region right here. But chances are there may be a sneaky buyer or two that could throw a kink in things at the 161.04 level, which is the base of this. If there's nobody there, there's nothing but air. We've got all kinds of confirmation that the pullback should be into these VWAPs, right? This VWAP has been meandering around and thus far has been a pretty good suction cup once we get pretty far away from it. It really does end up coming back to it. So we lose this level here, 6104. We should end up coming here to 159.90, which is a very nice move. All right. We should have maybe a little trouble halfway, but in the end, this is what I see. When your new pivots populate, watch for the pivot action how it behaves around the pivot, that's really going to be a big deal. Good luck trading today. Pay attention. Oh, charts are by motive wave, and I've added a new uh, indicator that I really like, and it's called the True Strength Index. But this is an ergodic of that True Strength Index, so it fluctuates between 
zero and some positive number and zero and some negative number as opposed to going from zero to 100 or whatever. And so this is a very, very pretty uh, technical indicator. As with all technical indicators, you want to be very careful when they're sitting around the zero line. Zero line stuff usually doesn't give us uh, information that we can use consistently and for a long time. All right, just saying, love it. It's terrific. I really like it, particularly that I've used the gradient on it. And we have this in with a little bit of a pink zone. We know that if it gets really red, we have pullback action coming. If it gets really white, we have a pop coming. Right now, we're in a little bit of a pink zone. So we'll see what happens from there. All right, good luck trading today.